Hello everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, visually blind, in HD. <laughs> so the last episode, we went to Five Star Island, and I was really confused as to how the heck I did not have the treasure chart to that, that place, because I was like, well, we have all the treasure charts. Well, turns out we totally don't. I don't know what the heck happened, because I could have sworn we did this, but I, maybe we didn't, maybe I'm just, maybe I didn't save... Or maybe I didn't do this properly. I mean, we didn't take a picture of someone and then show it to them and get the treasure chart from her. Does that sound vaguely familiar? Maybe you guys can tell me down below comments if I did this or not. Because I thought like 100% that we did this already. So I don't know what the heck happened. But thankfully, I did find out this is the only treasure chart I'm missing. So after this, we are we have 100% collected all the treasure charts in the game. So we're going to want to do here. Change it today. Uh-huh, 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 And then, yeah, so this episode, we're actually going to be collecting the Triforce charts and all the treasure chart treasures we missed. Oh, ho, 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 how do I look today? You know, he always shows off his pictures of me just as soon as he's taken them. Okay, by the way she says that, it makes me believe that we already did this. Like, this is mine, co, right? Let's get a picture because apparently from what I'm reading the only treasure chart I'm missing is from taking a picture of this lovely lady and then showing it to her so let's Let's show it to her see what she thinks Well, is this how I look today? Why well, I had no idea the gloss on my skin was so perfect Just look at me. I'm so stunning. Oh, I feel so wonderful now. I have to reward you for making me feel so good about myself here I have no idea how we didn't do this what I'm thinking might have happened? My son picked it up somewhere, and I would imagine you like this sort of thing, correct? My son likes it, so you must like it too. I remember her saying some kind of text like that. I could have sworn we did this. I have no... Oops. Oh, yeah, we're going to be playing this game. Oh, I tried to roll there. <laughs> we're playing this game for first person for the rest of the game. Now. So it's the king of the lines. All right. Um, let's take a look here at our map. So yeah, I don't know how we didn't get that map. I could have sworn we did it. I believe it's 33. If I recall correctly, I-I-R-C, yeah. So I guess for the most part of this episode, we're gonna start off by going, oh, dude, dude, come on, come on now. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, start by going and collecting all the maps we haven't done yet. Oh man, my freaking, con my right control stick is acting up again. A police piece of plastic stuck in it. Maybe you guys can even hear it. Kind of mash it around a bit there. Oh man, this control is not doing so well. Oh, I forgot this leads me here. I mean, that's not entirely terrible because I could use the fairies. Because I used them all up going through the savage labyrinth. Which I mean, I watched that episode and what the heck are you doing with your life? Because that episode was intense for two episodes. No, not the water, you silly. <laughs> with my stupid mask on. You know, it does kind of take away. Like, you can't see Link's emotions and all that. Are you serious? Come on! I thought for sure I got it there until I heard the stupid <laughs> noise. I'm like, dang it, I totally didn't get it. Why are you guys in water for? How come this every time there's like a fairy fountain or anything where a fairy great fairy or slash queen fairy lives, there's always freaking water around, so you can't even freaking get the fairies because you always pick up the water by mistake and it's like ah <laughs> it's not that annoying, but still, it's funny to me, okay. Ah, there we go, perfect. Now let's get rid of all this crap off our menu. So we don't use a Milton, so we don't use all three of these fairies by accident because <laughs> that's totally gonna happen to me. Um, and arrows. Whoa, what? Uh, boomerang, I guess. I don't know. All right, I guess because I don't want to. I don't want to be sailing around anymore and make you guys watch because we already explored the Great Sea. What is even the point? Are we? We have to go from one fall. Are you serious? Well, actually, maybe this. Let's go up to Tingle Island. That might be better. That way we can just sail directly northwest instead of having a... Yeah, I, I feel like it'll be shorter going to Tingle Island. So yeah, I will meet you guys at the Forsaken Fortress while, while, where I will start collecting the treasure charts. Maybe we'll run into uh, the ghost ship as well. That would be pretty nice. That would be pretty nice, Lay. Let's see where we are here. No, wrong way. We're going to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Alright, talk to you guys in a few minutes. Alright! Forsaken Fortress coming into view here. Let's see if we can find the treasure chart that leads us here. Aha, there it is. 
For, for some reason, I thought it was going to be like on the inside here, like right in there. But all right, it's not. It's going to be. It's right where the shadow is. Actually, looks like. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's a bit more forward. Uh, aha! There we go. Wow, that is such shallow water. Aha! Uh -huh, it's kind of a. I don't like the change where they made salvaging so much more easy. It just. It feels too easy now. The water's too shallow. It, it, make, it takes away from the cool open water feel. Oh, you know what I should have done. You know what? For continuing this. Yeah, okay, I know what I'll do. Oh, well, no, I... Mm, is that no, that's Rockspar Island. Two Lana's here, right? Let's, okay, let's go south. I like to go south. Feels like we're going this way. I was going to go to the Windfall Island and waste a few rupees so it doesn't feel like we're getting these treasure chests for absolutely nothing. That's what it kind of feels like when you have a full wallet, right? It's like, what's, what's even the point? I don't freaking know. I have a pointy bomb, that's what it is. All right. Well, there's no point in cutting because we're already at the this island. Um, oh, jeez. We only have nine maps to collect, so it's not going to be too bad. I think it's nine. Nine out of 49 isn't too bad. Or it was 49, right? I, I was one, Seven times seven was actually... The, when I very first heard multiplication, like, that was a thing. Like, in when I was, I don't know, really young. Like, I don't know, second, third grade. Okay, maybe it wasn't that young. Like, I don't know, really freaking young. Okay, whatever. Fine, let's go to the freaking maps. Will that make you happy, game? I saw you. Okay, I I'm a bit too far. I'm not far enough, I guess. Come on. No! My finger slipped off. Whoa, what the heck happened there? There's like a weird fade tra transition there. It would be nice if these gave me heart pieces. I kind of feel like the most of these are just going to give me 200 rupees, though. I feel like I've gotten too many heart pieces enough as it is. Oh, you got a great fairy chart! Now you can see all the great fairies and the fairy queen. Open the chart and... Really, the fairy queen? Wow. It's such a seeker where she is. <laughs> no, I'm just being sarcastic, guys. It's okay. The great fairy chart. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's interesting how they use different symbols. The fairy queen just looks like... Oh, she's a bigger fairy. That's weird. They should have used a different picture for that. Um, and you can see on the bottom there where the... The fairy you had to kill a big octo for it has a bigger staff for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's to indicate she has more magic. She's the one who gives you more magic. I'm so scared. One file and Josh. There's a lot of those, man. It's obnoxious. Okay, let's get out here without taking damage currently. We should be okay with getting out here without taking damage unless we get unlucky here. And we are. Okay. So that's west. We don't want to go. No, that's heading north. Uh, I already see where the next island we want to go is. Okay, so we're going to go get this last one. And then we're going to go... Sp I'm going to show you guys what it's like to buy a maxo item on Windfall Island. Since we have nothing left to spend our rupees on, we might as well waste our money. Um, I've actually never seen it, slash seen anyone max out a, an auction before. So it's going to be interesting for me to see, too, what it's like. Uh, well, I was going to cut, but there's no point. It'd be like two seconds at this point. Okay, maybe more like 10 or 15 seconds, but still, whatever. And yes, I've cut out shorter amounts of videos before, but that's not the point. That's not the point. That's not the point. Sorry, that just felt like a remixable moment. I had to do it. All right. Ah, uh, freaking wave blinded me. I think it's this here, right? Oh, it's more for it then. It's right here. This is a swell where I actually thought I saw it on. I'm like, maybe it's a bit closer. And it totally wasn't the swell I initially saw it at. I was giving it the benefit of the doubt because I always think it's like a swell or two farther out than it really is. You got us! Oh, dang it. <laughs> I hate getting money. Ugh. Hmm. All right. You know what? Let's teleport now. It's time to teleport. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. All right. Looks like it's nighttime as well. Supposed to be pretty nice. Because we'll immediately be able to go into the auction and we'll be able to spend some money. I mean, yes, this is completely pointless, but it is to kind of show like a unique thing in the game that no one really shows. That's what I like to do in my Let's Plays. I like to show things people don't normally show. Because yeah. I care about my videos or something. I don't freaking know. Who cares? I don't. They're just stupid internet online videos. No one's going to watch these. It's going to get seven views and that's it. Hello. That's actually kind of cool. It's a Medley! Adorable. 
I thought it was maybe went in the Earth Temple for a second, but no, it's totally one of the very first time you see her. Awesome that we came here during the night. It'd be cool if the ghost ship appeared here, because that would be even more scary. It'd be awesome if the ghost ship appeared here, and then everybody was like, they talked about like how terrifying it was. Even if it only appeared here once, like, I don't know, when the pirates were here. So it would be even before we could possibly get into the ghost ship. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to explain it to me. Alright, show me your stupid joy pendant, because that's, I seriously think that's the only thing he has left to show me. Oh, look at all the people, like, oh, I'm gonna win tonight! Oh, there's Gummy. Watch them complain. I, I, I'm actually curious if they say anything, like, the audience has anything cool if I buy an auction. This will be funny. Oh my gosh, joy pendant, how do I know? <laughs> they should sell more things besides joy pendants, like knight's crests, or, you know, golden feather. 40 rupees! And, oh man, that's not nearly expensive enough. I value Windfall Island's development. I'm gonna buy this for freaking 999 red balloons go buy. Yeah, oh wow, Gummy. 43 rupees, that is adorable. 46 rupees? Yeah, well, guess what? You guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? What now? Oh, this is incredible! I never thought it was possible, but the bid has reached the ceiling for this item! <laughs> no higher bids can be accepted. Dear me! And sold! Here ends the auction. Today's five. <laughs> 999 rupees. Let's watch our money go down. Dear me! Let me just say congratulations! That's awesome. <laughs> So now I have 4,001 rupees. My dear, how incredible! Such a youngster walked away with the prize! I've never seen such a fat roll. That kid was a big machine, right? Okay, it just says normal things. That's it. That's all they say. That's kind of disappointing. Surprised they're all pooping their pants. Do they say anything unique? You're my hero tonight. I think that's something he normally says. Talk about humiliating. These all sound like things they typically say. Can I adopt you? Okay, I definitely remember that one. Because, you know, I'm kind of into her. I think she's really cute. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but seriously. Okay, so. Time to teleport or something. Oh, that's another thing I have to do. I have to go talk to Beetle. They're just my, like... This is going to be, like, my finishing up episodes pretty much here. Alright, where do we want to go next? I guess... Dragon Roost Island, I guess, looks like a good place to teleport to. I'm pretty much going be going all over the map now trying to collect all these treasure charts. It'd be cool if they showed you here where you've collected treasure chests and everything, but I guess it would be kind of pointless. It would just be very good. It would be slightly convenient for the people trying to 100% this game at a certain point <laughs> for like 20 minutes before you collect all the treasure charts. I think we've done everything we can on Dragon Roof Sound, so I don't think we're going to ever be back here. How sad. Bye, Beetle! Yeah, I guess we really aren't gonna be there. I'm like, there's no tree there for us to get, as in like you know the 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 sapling that we have to rewater or some crap. <clears throat> I'm kind of hoping we're gonna get lucky here and run to the ghost ship. Although I'm not holding my breath because I've been pretty unlucky of that so far. I thought for sure we would naturally run to the ghost ship, just kind of going through all these islands as we were sailing and exploring the sea, but we never did. I mean, we did come across it the one time, but that's because I kind of forced it to happen. I had to. Go change it from day to night a bunch. Well, you might see here. I think this is one of the islands it could appear at. Oh, is that over there? No, those are just seagulls. Actually, no, those aren't seagulls. Those are... I forgot what they're called. The Helmerock King's offspring. <laughs> Oops. No, no, no. No, no, no. Did I get hit there? No, I definitely got hit there. Hey, look, it's a bomb! And its fuse is going off in the wrong spot. <laughs> LOL. So silly. You so silly. You guys, silver rupee. What the heck is going on with my hat? I think maybe because I just got blasted. Alright, let's go east. East! <laughs> I said that's so stupid. What is that? Oh, that's a flight control thing. That looked look like a submarine with like those little floating ships beside it for a second. I don't think that was really far away. I don't think those would render in so quickly. Hmm. I think that's what that is, anyways. I could be wrong. Could be around, round, 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 round. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. What was that? The intro to the. I think that's Wipeout, isn't it? Although I'm pretty sure Wipeout Canada and Wipeout States are two different shows. So I don't know if they have different outros or not. <clears throat> oh 
my good lord, I got another treasure chest. Like I said, I'd be cutting out the majority of this, but I'm kind of still talking. That's because a lot of these squares are beside each other. You got the secret cave chart. Wow, Link's kind of looking in the wrong direction, isn't he? That's weird. Now you know where to find the secret caverns of this chart and map's getting to view. All right, let's take a look. Another chart that's kind of pointless to us now, but, you know, it would have been pointless to us all along because I kind of know where all them, they all are. Just kind of got to explore. Wow. Holy crap, that's a secret cave on almost every island down to the south there. That's so weird how the bottom half of the map has, like, three-fourths of the amount of the map. And then, like, the top has two, four, six. Six secret caves. And there's, like, freaking millions and billions and millions and millions of secret charts. All right. Which head south. Another interesting thing is the fishmen, whenever you feed them bait, they always say that, you know, if you want to hear what I have to say, you're going to have to feed me again. But you can actually just go to C chart and press X, and they'll tell you what the... And they'll tell you what the fish said, word for word, so it's pointless. <laughs> oh, there it is right there, right? It's weird, I keep ca catching the occasional whiff of, like, a baby diaper. Like, a soiled baby diaper. I don't know why. What is... Th oh, this is the... Okay. I was really confused, I'm like, the bunch of seagulls... That's way too many seagulls. This is a million... Million-eyed big octorok that I missed somehow. Whoa! Okay, uh, uh. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I got it somehow. We gotta do this island too. Should we do that now? I, I guess so. Ooh, this time I actually have some troubles with. We are going to have trouble. I'm moving my mic down. Yeah, you got the island hard shy now. You know where to find the islands that hide piece of heart. Uh, with, oh, with this you can see something. Uh, I don't know what that said. So I may be wondering, do we already get this chart? No, we got the sea island chart. Sea hearts chart or whatever. Which is different from this one because this the sea... The sea hearts chart. See this one just showed you where you would get um, heart pieces from treasure maps. Wait, what? Oh, from yeah, treasure maps. So as in you would get it from the bottom of the sea. But this is th these are just ones you get from on islands. Wow, this actually looks a lot different than I remember it. Did I ever get this map? Did they change this from the GameCube version to this one? This looks really weird. This chart. Looks kind of cool, actually. And you can see I get one from a mailbox and one from... I don't know what that is. The bottom one beneath the mailbox there. Huh. Anyways. No, stop. That is really helpful. I guess I could jump there and do sharp turns. Maybe that will help me in um, boat maneuvering. Alright, I don't think we ever did talk to this guy, did we? Through the sign. You know, I was pretending like we've never been here. Birdman Contest! Sign encounter. Think you were born to, born to fly? Then take the challenge of the sky and win fame and prizes. That sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it, you guys? <laughs> Alright, give me the magic. Give me the magic. Greetings, oh person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Riedel Tribe Birdman Contest. And now listen, you are free to use any means, methods, or tools at your disposal to help soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash the rolling seas. Like so much dead weight driftwood. <laughs> A banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion who has flown the farthest today crashed to the frosty or frothy waves in the massive splash of glory. If you're able to pass that flag, then you will become the new champion. You'll be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. The participation fee is a mere 10 rupees. Well, will you take this challenge? Heck yeah! Okay! Then up the slider you go. My brother awaits you at the top. Uh, and you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. So, you do have something that could use to fly, right? I sure hope so. Here's wishing the wind is under your, uh, thing. Whatever it is. I sure hope it's under my PP too. I fly using my PP as a propeller. Oh, a challenge! Yeah, the contest is afoot! You see that banner far off in the distance. That marks the record distance set by a great and talented champion. You must pass that banner. That is pretty freaking far. Uh, ooh, they're giving us magic. I wonder why. <laughs> well, all right, you guys ready? Are, are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready. Hi. And let's go! Yay, we did it! I wanted to do that once. Sploosh! <laughs> Flight distance was seven yards. Whopping seven yards. I wonder what happens if you get negative distance. I'm gonna totally try that. 
Uh, what was that? I was so terrible. I didn't even know where to begin offering advice. Could have fallen unconscious and done better than that. Alright, we'll skip all this. Oh. My record is seven rupee or seven yards. I'll hail. Oh, he said more stuff there, but whatever. Alright, can I skip this? I want to skip it. I can see a little whirlwinds there. So, yeah, that is pretty freaking far. Alright, there's one more thing I want to try. I want to see if I got a negative distance just because that would be funny. <laughs> See if you like break the barriers. Oh man, the one's going the wrong way completely. Even for this. No! Like, if it's like an invisible wall or some crap. I kind of want to make a pass that banner. Oh, they immediately drain your rupees. That's awesome. What are they going to say? I was actually really curious. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I can't measure that, you strange person. Why don't. Why? You don't even know which direction you're supposed to fly, in, do you? Oh my god, it's amazing! <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that! Can't you see the banner over there by the goal? Why are you flying, why are you flying the opposite direction? That makes little, very little sense. Current record is a superb fly of 7 yards. All hail. Rich fly again, young fledgling. And just feet at 7 rupees. Okay. Oh, cool! They're charging magic too. That's awesome. Alright, so I'm assuming they're going to say the same thing if I... Like, you know, if you know, if I was able... If I flew and didn't go past the banner. So I'm not going to try that. Or should I? I should totally try that. <laughs> Alright, so I guess northwest would be my best bet here. Oh, a little bit worried about this, you guys. Hmm, I think you could actually miss this first whirlwind, but you know, be, that one's not even moving, is it? Yeah, it's moving very slowly. Okay, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Whee! So yeah, you need to hit all these, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't freaking know. Oh, I feel like I'm going so slow. Oh no. Yeah! Crap, turning around there might screw me over. Uh, just because I'm not going completely straight to also might mess me up. Although, I, well, as I say, I am pretty, come on. This is not going too well for me at all. I feel like I can maybe make a mad dash for it. You can do it, Mr. Link! Sir Link! Okay, I'm gonna skip that one. I might be able to make it. No, I'm not gonna be able to make it. <laughs> Dang it! Ah, I'm so close. What did he say? 40 yards was the record? I feel like it was like 37 or something. Spoosh! Look, this was 230. Okay, I was gonna say. Maybe 250 yards, I guess. I was gonna say 40 yards, that's a lot farther than 40 yards. Maybe the measuring is different. 234 yards, really? Wow, that's some great flying, but you're not quite. But not quite great and, tal and talented. I have no advice to share with you. All that's left is to cast your luck to the wind and just fly. Fly, boy, fly! Alright, try again. Uh, your current record is 234 yards. May, may you return as feathered and winged as a bird of the skies. I will do it, kind sir. Alright. I, I wish we could skip this after the first time we watch it. I mean, it does only take a few seconds. And we're off! I love how they have the sailing theme for this. It's great. Oh, I was going to say, I better bump me up. Okay. Hopefully, this goes in a circle. Dang it, we're going to run the same problem here. Okay, we did a bit better. That I think that'll be enough. Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like I'm going so slow, but it's just because there's like, we have no reference point here. Oh, I missed it. But I think it'll be okay. We just can't miss this one. Right? Uh, yeah! This still might not be good enough. Oh man! <laughs> ah! Go! <laughs> so close. Two thirty-four is my record before. What is this? Splo you know, I can't even cut any of this out because I mean, I gotta show my full run. I feel like I'm gonna do it next time. Two forty-seven, three yards away from the record. Dang it! Oh, you know what? I just realized I should be talking. Dang it, I meant to only stop talking until I got over here, so I'm just kind of spamming my leaf. I feel like it pushes me a bit in the right direction. I don't freaking know. Oh, man, I don't think I'm going to make it. Cut this out, Chris. Cut this. Maybe, no, maybe not I'll cut this out, Chris. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Don't cut this out, Chris. Ah! Did I do it? I'm right at there. I might. It might be 251. Oh. Goal! 
Yeah! Congratulations! I may have to put some post commentary there or something. Dang it! How did I. Uh, current record is impressive. 258 yards. That was not 8 yards past the goal. Oh, breathtaking! Oh, wait. He's supposed to have a French accent because he has like a mustache. <laughs> oh, breathtaking! You have shown me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes there are truly unworthy. He did not say truly there, but you know. Amazing! You blew past my brother's best record in impressive, in impressive fashion. Uh, you would make a fine distinguished member of the Rudo, Rudo tribe. I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You are both great and talented. I didn't know it was his brother that had the record. That's funny. So as a new champion of the Birdman Contest, please accept this as a talented prize. You got a piece of heart. I collected three so far. Come back anytime. Is I need to fly again? I shall wait. I'm not getting, giving, my, giving back my magic. Lame. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. My name's Chris. The next one, we will definitely finish collecting all the sea maps, I promise. And we'll do the ghost ship, and it'll be great. And I don't know what we're going to do after that. Hmm. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye!